by His Excellency John, Jerry John Rawlings, former President of the Republic of Ghana, in honor of the late Toby Pop the third Dufia of Alapna. There are indeed very few men in our society today with demonstrated passion for candor, selflessness, and dedication to public service. Togi Poku III, Dufia of Alakle, a progressive traditional ruler, an enterprising engineer of national and international repute, a distinguished diplomat, is undoubtedly one of those few. His life, though painful, cut short, deserves commendation. In 65 years, Tommy Poku Dieter has fostered and lived a life of frankness, self-denial, generosity, and commitment. I have known, admired, and respected the personality and work of Tommy Poku Dieter for his total disposition to serve his community, his nation, and the wider world. These, indeed, were the attributes that informed my decision to appoint him Ambassador Extraordinaire and Plenipotentiary to the Kingdom of the Japan with concurrent accreditation to other Southeast Asian countries, including Australia, New Zealand, and Singapore from 1998 to 2001. As we mourn his untimely departure from this world and bid him farewell to the next world, I believe that his exemplary and well-lived life will inspire us. It is my fervent hope that a larger number of men and women in our society will live for the principles and convictions for which our cherished story lived. To his beloved wife and wonderful children, I renew my condolences with a prayer and hope that the Almighty God will strengthen you with faith to keep at least the legacy of a loving husband and a worthy father. Togbi Hedenye Jijole Mutifafam.
Mutinya, and to Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration. Among the Konyato, the Opa, the Topa Kapo, Yapa Batanya Oji, Flare Kao Aji, O Bobloma, and yet Jipapa. Juju, the 
Management Council of Alakle Development Association. Remember how short my life is. Remember that you were created. Remember that you created all of us mortal. How can I live and never die? How can human beings keep themselves from the grave? Psalm 89, 48 to 9. Talk me, talk me, talk me. Where are you? Why should we call you three times at the top of our voices and you would not respond? Dumaga Fiaponu, where is Talk me? our mentor, our chief, and all in all for us. Oh, Nyako Dumaga is saying that Toby has been summoned by his maker above. He has gone on a journey of no return. The first constitution of a Lakla Development Association was promulgated at Tema on the 3rd of June 1978 
that's given back to this association. Your installment as the Dufia of Alakla took place on the 5th of April 1979, less than a year of the establishment of the association. That event of your installment and your personal commitment to the association serve as the singular fortress and cornerstone that sustained the association for all these years. You were the life patron of the association as per the constitution. And in the main, you have been the driving force behind our success for the past 36 years. The demise of our dear Toby has brought, to the, has brought us to the crossroads. What is the fate of Alakla Development Association? To whom do we turn for guidance now? Who is there to provide that shelter and cover for us? Who will be our backbone when it comes to advice, planning, and follow-up when we approach people for help and raise those questions? Again, we say we are at the crossroads. To turn to the left, who is at the end of the road? What about turning right? Who is there to welcome us? Forward, we must go. But who is there for us? Togby, you maintain a personal account purposely for Alakle projects. Anytime we called on you, you were there just in time to solve our problems. Now, in your absence, who is there to give ear to our plea? In response to a question posed to you as to how you will be remembered in the future, your response was, I want to be remembered as a good chief of Alakule. Yes, that was exactly your response and you live to achieve that objective. You really lived as a good chief of Alakula. Your leadership was an exemplary one, second to none. Anybody, organization we went to with a letter in your name always gave us a favorable yes. Your name opened all doors for Alakula. Alakula swam in your glory in all these years, and that paved the way for us to achieve a lot for Alakla. Since your installment as our Dufia, there was not a single project we accomplished without your instrumentality and support in cash. The last monumental one before your journey to the land of eternity was the huge financial support for the purchase and other roofing material for the mission house. That project had not even been accomplished before you left us. You were always calling to inquire about the progress made so far. Little did any one of us know or dream that you were doing so because you were preparing for your journey of no return. You knew your days were numbered then. We cannot catalog your support towards development of a lap, financially and otherwise, in a tribute to your memory. We will definitely find another avenue to bring to the attention of the world. Toby, in whose hands have you left us now? That person can only be the almighty, eternal God who will take care of all of us mortals. We know and we believe that your spirit will be a light on our path as a town 
and as a people. May the Almighty God, whom you serve, dwells on earth, take care of you and keep you in the bosom of Abraham, with whom you will prepare everlasting home for all of us to come and share with you. Toby, Baba, Baba, Baba now. Kadenwe, Amen. Silence. 
Their senses eroded beyond fear. When great souls die, the air around us becomes light, rare, sterile, quote and unquote. Angelo. It is with a, a heavy heart that the Ansego community pays this tribute to you. It is always maintained that it is only the heart that loves, that knows the pain of parting. Toby, we are thunderstruck and dumbfounded by your un untimely departure. Even though we are all mortals, hence will depart from this earth one by one, we never anticipated yours to be sudden. You are a multifaceted man who was resolved oriented. These were evidenced by the monumental projects you brought to Ansepo ever since you were made board chairman in 2010. Through your ingenuity, you lobbied for a lot of projects for the school. Mention can be made of the enviable 18-unit classroom block, the one-story girls dormitory, and the reconstructed dining hall. You had Ansepo at heart and never hesitated to be around to help solve any problem for Soreba that the school faces. We can vividly, vividly remember the fatherly advice you gave us when there was a strike action all over the country in 2012. You came down and met us, the staff. With your witty and oratory skills, you were able to convince us to go back to work. You never used your position as a board chairman to lord over us. No wonder we are no wonder we always expected you in our midst. Your contributions at board meetings were phenomenal. phenomenal. But we, you are an eagle, and eagles don't flock because they are uncommon. Indeed, you were uncommon. Uncommon men solve problems in uncommon styles. In fact, with your departure, Ansepo has lost a mentor, a father, a counselor, and above all, a philanthropist. Toby, you even scheduled a board meeting on the 13th of November 2015. But alas, that never happened. Though we heard of your ailment, we least expected that it could take you away from us. Toby, if really your sudden departure, departure has been planned by God, then we mortals cannot question it. But we want to put on record that your demise had devastated the entire Ansepo community. Your departure has created a vacuum. We are however convinced that you have been called by the sovereign law for a higher challenge. Toby, we believe you are resting at the bosom of the creator of the universe. Toby, 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 Baba, Baba, Baba now, Dudor, Toby Dudor, Dudor la Papa.
in my position as the secretary to the Angola Combat Development Coordinating Council, of which Tugby, the late Tobi Popu Dutan was the chairman. To every man upon this earth, death cannot soon or late. And how can man die better than facing fearful odds? Who are the ashes of his fathers and the temples of his gods? And for the tender mother, who dandled him to rest? And for the wife, who nurses his baby at her breast? Put Lace of Ancient Room by Thomas Davidson Macaulay. Don't <laughs>
not how you plan things. What could, what could have been the cause of this, this project? When we formed this association, we were one of the first who encouraged us. We supported us in many ways. You remember us always and made us play active roles anytime there, is a, there was a public event in Alaska. You were the one who tempted us the most. Your sudden departure has created deep sorrow in our hearts. May the God, Lord Almighty, lead you home peacefully. We shall always remember you. May your gentle soul rest in perfect peace. Amen.